I bought 70 blocks of chocolate. I don't know why. I don't even like eating them. Today, we're gonna be making giant sculptures out of chocolate. Chocolate! We have five artists in front of you. We have chocolate bars, sculpting tools, heat guns, and a pumpkin carving kit for some reason. You have six hours to make a piece of art out of chocolate. The winner will win up to $5,000 for a random subscriber. And really quick before we start, I'm gonna let each of you bet on someone. If they win, you get a hundred bucks. Mackenzie, who's gonna win? Mackenzie. I was also gonna go with Izzy. I'm gonna go with me. Jake. I'm gonna bet on Mackenzie. Your time starts now. So like I said at the beginning of the video, one of these artists will be able to win up to $5,000 for a subscriber. Here's how it's gonna work. So at the end of this challenge, the winner will do another challenge to see how much they win for the subscriber. We're gonna give the money from the winnings to one person who subscribes in the next 10 days. No, you don't have to unsubscribe and resubscribe. That pretty much does nothing. For the next six hours, you are all college students. I already am a college student. Here's what I mean. Most of our videos, as you guys know, are really expensive. Here you go, Mackenzie, your silver quill. Jake, your prismary. Michelle, your quandrix. Apparently they do a lot of math. Yes. Izzy, your wither bloom. I don't know what that means. It says I'm from the swamp. All right, your lore hold. A small piece of your art piece needs to represent your college. Jazlyn, do you know what you're gonna make? My character is really interested in history and summoning dead spirits. So maybe like a mummy or a tombstone incorporated in it. So Witherbloom draws their power from life and death. So I wanna do something with a skull because that's death and then have plants growing out of it because that's life. I think I might do something with nature. I haven't done that yet. I'm gonna try and attempt to make multiple eggs with this and butterflies. As a Prismari student, we use elemental magic, so I'm thinking I'm gonna make like some sort of flower and have a petal represent a different element. Since I'm a part of the Silver Quill College, we are very intimidating. I'm gonna do a shark in a coral reef. <laughs> You have three minutes to make a perfect cube. Whoever makes the most perfect cube in three minutes will get the 11 pound block of chocolate. Oh Whoa. my God. I want the chocolate. Go. Everyone stop what you're doing. Kenzie, <laughs> let me see your cube. It's not a bad cube, but it is very small. Not bad, not bad. Sure, that is disgusting. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's, Whoa. That's nice. Jazz, let me see the whole thing. Jazz, let me see it. Izzy, I think you win this one. <laughs> I get the chocolate! Put it down carefully, it's really heavy. I shaved out some of the chocolate, and now I'm gonna try and microwave it. Now that I've melted my chocolate, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in a plastic bag and pipe out my fence. Kenzie, do you wanna show me what you're working on right now? This is the start of my shark. Are you gonna be able to build on top and below it? Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do right now. I have a flower petal in the fridge. Can I see it? Yeah, sure. So are you doing designs that? on here as well? And yeah, getting stuff on it? I'm gonna carve like fire designs in this and then like ice designs in another one. I uh, melted the big hunks of chocolate and then I just squished them together and now I'm just carving it away. Oh, this is like my little graveyard and I'm gonna make a mummy with a tomb. <laughs> Artists, pulled up a big chunk of chocolate. First two to finish it gets an advantage. Go! Jazz Michelle, what's the strategy? I'm melting it because it's so hard. Ooh, that's a smart technique. Jazz is heating it up and biting into it. Oh, Jake's getting close. I think I oh. melt it. <laughs> so gross. All right, Jake is the first one done. I, 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 I. Izzy's disqualified. Jake came in first. Jazz came in second. Give me a moment. I'm gonna drag you to one at a time on the side to tell you what you got. Jake, you get one of these blocks. That's for you. Jake, are you ready to hear your second advantage? Yes. Okay, but they can't know, so come with me outside. Jake, so there are two other things you win for finishing first. One, you get to tell one of the contestants to do 100 push-ups. Jake, your second advantage is you get 60 seconds with a giant heat gun to do whatever you want with. Okay. Jazz, other than the giant <laughs> block of chocolate that Jake got, you get the same advantage as him. Artists, are you ready to hear what Jazz and Jake got? Yeah! yeah. So their advantage has two parts to it. First one is give someone 100 push-ups. Jake, you want to tell me who you chose? Mackenzie! <laughs> oh, Mackenzie, it gets better. And then I asked Jazz who we're giving the push-ups to. And you guys have any idea who she gave it to? Yeah. Mackenzie? Apparently you don't want to 
hundred dollars. Two hundred push-ups, and you can get back to work. Mackenzie's out for the rest of the competition. And I didn't say the second part of the advantage. Oh, man. I told Jake and Jazz they each had sixty seconds with a heat gun. Jake, start yours. All right, Jake, turn off the heat gun. Get him off! Look at this. It's a bird. All right, Jess, once you start it up, you have 60 seconds. If you want to pause it to switch, let me know. Izzy's looks really good. Ooh. So... No! Also, Izzy. Jake, Jake, when you were doing it, was it on a... Great idea to make my blocks into books. I don't know why I didn't think of it, but that's what I'm doing now. Call the center of my flower and another petal is in the freezer. I'm gonna get started on this one right here. Whoa, now that is cool. This is the first time I've seen one of the contestants mix the milk chocolate and dark chocolate together. Izzy, have you recovered from the Hegan incident yet? No, I have to recover the whole thing. I'm gonna try and make like a butterfly egg sack thing. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it. I'm working on the ice sort of element pedal right now. I'm chiseling it and it's creating kind of like a frosty kind of look. So right now I am working on the coral reef part. This is the top side. That is really cool. Artists, each one of you will play me in rock, paper, scissors. If you beat me, you get to feed someone chocolate and they can't continue until they eat it. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Yeah. Mackenzie, who's eating chocolate? Michelle, I'm gonna pick you because you didn't eat the other chocolate from earlier. So you All should right. be doing okay. Michelle, here's a pretty big piece of chocolate. <laughs> I'm trying it. to be- Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Eat it! Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Mackenzie, I picked Mackenzie, I guess this is what you get for beating everyone so much. All right, Mackenzie, finish this. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot! Who's eating chocolate? I guess I'll give Jake that little surprise when he gets back. Okay, so Jazz chose who's gonna eat this. Michelle, I'm sorry. You're gonna have to give this to Jake. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess you can continue. Just so you guys know, we all matched your Magic the Gathering Strixhaven colleges along with your personality because apparently there's a choose your own college quiz you can take and we tried to match you guys with your personalities. I actually think it matched pretty well. <laughs> Ago, but I was in a meeting so I wasn't able to come down so thanks for clearing up everyone. All right, Michelle, start you off. I make two eggs, one full one and one that's broken in half. I put the number 42 on there because my is magic and my college is Kondrix. Very nice job with the eggs. You got really round shapes. Good job, Michelle. <laughs> my university, Witherbloom, gets their power from death and life. So I did a skull. I have fungus growing on the side of the head. I have the candle just melting because that's the clock ticking on life. And then I have some books because it's a university. Overall, I'd say a very nice piece. I had the historical college that summons spirits. I'm in a historical graveyard with a tombstone. Your name is on there. Does that mean that's you? That means I'm a historical figure. Good job, Jess. My college was all about competitiveness, debating, wit, and I feel like an animal that represents that is a shark. So we have a shark debating with some fish. I guess that counts. Good job, Mackenzie. Well, I'm part of the Prismari class. We're all about the elements and creativity. So it's supposed to be a flower, uh, you know, with each petal representing an element. I got in ice, fire, and wind. I actually really, really <laughs> like the petals. I just wish it was completed. Good job, Jake. As you all know, only one person will be crowned champion and they're gonna be able to surprise a random subscriber with me in 10 days. So before we announce who it is, you guys gotta subscribe. Subscribe, it's it's free and you might win a lot of money. We are gonna eliminate one person at a time and since I gotta go, we're gonna do it pretty fast. Michelle, you're out! Oh. Jazz, unfortunately, I'm gonna have to eliminate you next. Very nice artwork, but good job. <laughs> Jake, since yours is incomplete, I'm going to have to eliminate you. Okay. Something. Izzy! Congratulations, because you get to congratulate Mackenzie oh. for getting second place! Oh. Oh. Wait, who bet on Izzy? Alright, Mackenzie, Jake, you both get 100. Yay! 
In this video, we will be making art out of pasta. Ah, I hate pasta. Alert. Ooh, pasta. These four artists will have two hours to create art out of pasta. Best one gets to split up to five grand with a subscriber. Let the pasta challenge begin. I gotta get the pasta. Michelle, what the hell? These look fancy as heck. I'm going into this challenge. I'm not very confident at all because I don't know what I'm doing. Jake and Mackenzie aren't here today, so I might have a chance to win. So are you giving me a topic or no? You ready? Three, two, two one, one, zombie. <laughs> I'm not doing a zombie. This is all you need to draw, straight lines. I saw some of the pasta pieces, and honestly, they resemble bones, so I think I'm gonna make a dinosaur fossil. Okay, I'm gonna try to draw out what I wanna make, and I'm gonna try to actually plan for one. So I'm gonna do a unicorn, because it's easy, and I do them all the time. So. <laughs> Maybe I might try cooking the pasta. <laughs> Michelle's ripped, girl. So let's just soak it and see if it like becomes squishy. If it doesn't work, I will try something else. Ew, Michelle, what are you doing? I'm soaking it. Michelle's always doing nasty stuff every challenge. <laughs> We're gonna draw this cool geometric frog. So Michelle, what's your plan with that over there? I don't know, Ben. Like, I why'd you just put know. it in water? I just, I just wanted to try it out. Uh, I have my sketch down. This is what it looks like so far. Before I put the hot glue gun on, I am gonna just map out where I want my pasta art to go. It's been 20 minutes and I finally decided what I'm gonna do. I wanna do a cute little frog. So what's your plan? How are you gonna use these like little pieces of pasta to make it? I'm gonna try to break up the spaghetti to make it into like fur texture and then hopefully oh, cool. different textures of pasta to like make the mane look different and the eyes look different. Oh, you have a little frog. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little frog. Michelle's doing a frog. Too? No. Oh wait, you're doing a frog? Wait. Changing my idea again. <laughs> you're changing your idea, Michelle? Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Ben. If I was competing right now, I'd you be, would lose. I'd be you super would lose. scared. Can I remove this? And I want to use like glitter glue in my gun, but I don't know how to take the gross glue out. What you could do is I'll give you a plate, and you just gotta. Squeeze guys, it. I'm getting traumatized. Oh, it's getting thicker. Is it? Is that glittery? Oh, there is a little glitter in it. Okay. Yeah, Thank you, Brigida. Oh, it came through my plate. It melted the plate. <laughs> We're around 25 minutes in, and we have our first mini challenge where you could win an advantage. Ooh. Okay, I want that. Gather in the middle. We're gonna play a little game. This is called pasta trivia. <laughs> So I'm gonna show you guys an assortment of different pastas. First person to answer the name of the pasta wins a point. You need three points to win. First one, spaghetti. Cannoli. Yes! I don't know how you got that. I don't even know what that is. Second one, spaghetti. Follow. No. Nope. Far foul. Oh Technically, David no! said it first. No! Next one, spaghetti. Tricolor fusilli. You got it, fusilli. Next one. Okay. Spaghetti. Bring a Tony. David, you have three points. I was none of those spaghetti. Choose. Everyone, you can get back to work. David, here's your advantage. You get to choose two people and have them make you a pasta. Like food? They need to cook it and bring it to you. Oh, dude, let me do this one. Ben, you're gonna make me pasta. And Savannah, you're gonna make me pasta. <gasps> All right, Ben, Savannah, get to work. You guys have a pasta. Wait, to does make he David. have to eat it? Like, it just needs to be edible. No, I want it like five star Gordon Ramsay. And you picked me? My glue exploded and melted everything. And it's all over my shoe. But it's okay. My unicorn will look great in two hours from now, I'm sure. We should just give him one of every noodle. Savannah, what are you doing? This is how you make pasta. Grab a little bit of this. You grab some of these. Yummy. I decided that I'm gonna do a mushroom, but I'm doing a cute mushroom. Oh. Savannah and I are in the kitchen right now. We are about to make the best pasta in the world. Okay, wait, I wanna go look at everyone's stuff while they're gone. Hey, Michelle, yours is gonna be really cute. We're working on it. Ben's is looking a little rough, but I'm sure knowing him, it'll come out really good. Oh, I feel bad she hasn't started at all yet. I made her go cook pasta. Look at that, that is a whole fire. Oh, you just threw it in there? <gasps> <laughs> it's gotta be salty. This is why we're an art channel and not a cooking channel. Okay, how long does it really take to make pasta? They better be salting their pasta water. Get in there. I don't know if we added enough salt. Oh, I think you added more than enough salt. Are you worried at all that the glue's not clear? Uh, if you look at Ben's, the clear glue like kind of disappears. Whereas like, if you have white glue, then you're gonna be able to see all this at the end. <laughs> well, I'll do clear from now on once all the white's okay. used up. Okay, I gotta squirt it out. You want that milky color. I right think there. it's ready to serve, actually. I hope David likes it. This might be the last time we see David. <laughs> it looks like it's lunchtime. I'm starving. Oh my god, yum. Just try a little bite in case it's really bad. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> Why is it crunchy? Call me Chef Boy R. Ben. Oh, everyone, I have a little plot twist. As a reminder, the winner gets to split up to five grand with a subscriber, and losers get tomato sauce. No oh way. Oh my god. Make sure you step it up. Good thing I switched with the clear glue. Wait, Zach, what happens if Michelle gets tomato sauce dumped on her and she has to come home with you? Am I allowed to be next to you? Sure. Are we allowed to cuddle? Sure, we can still cuddle. She's just gonna taste and smell like tomatoes. All right, everyone, we have our second mini challenge. Woo! <laughs> 
you will have an opportunity to win some more time. You guys will each toss 10 pieces of pasta, and each one you get in this bowl is two minutes extra. You can get up to 20 extra minutes. Oh, no! I need like a heavy pasta. You have one more try. So David, you have 12 extra minutes. All right, Michelle. One more. And you get four extra minutes, Michelle. Okay, I'm gonna try a different strategy. What does this count as? Well done, Ben. And you get eight extra minutes. Woo. Oh my god, I'm an athlete. Oh. So Savannah, you get six extra minutes. Better than nothing. And I'm gonna use the extra time to really add lots of details to my unicorn and hopefully get it done. I only got four extra minutes. Oh, that's not a lot of time. I'm using red pasta to make the outside of the mushroom. And hopefully by the end of it, it'll look really, really good. This challenge is so hard. Two hours is not enough time to do this. I'm looking around at everyone's pieces, and Ben's is looking pretty good. Mine's looking all right. Zach keeps telling me my background's a little messy. How is your dragon going? It's a dinosaur skeleton. They're not the same. I have the outline at this point. I'm confident about my line work, my pasta line work, but I'm worried about filling in the body. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it done in time. Ooh, I like. I see the frog. There's only 49 minutes. Left, but I think my dinosaur skeleton is turning out pretty good. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do the head. I'm like not even halfway done, so I have no idea if I'm gonna finish this unicorn. So I definitely need to add some color. I do not want to get tomato sauce dumped all over me. That's disgusting. Pretty much almost done with my mushroom and I hate it. <laughs> my beautiful girlfriend is on the verge of giving up. Michelle, you got this. Oh, this is a munchie fan. What are you gonna give up? Okay, I won't give up now. This is what we got. Not hating it, not loving it. Good place to be. All right, everyone, we have our third mini challenge, and this one, you will probably win your biggest advantage yet. God, oh God. We'll pause the time real quick, and I need you guys to come with me to the other set. For this mini challenge, you guys are gonna build a pasta bridge across these two buckets. The winner of this challenge will go straight to the finals during judging. I wanna win, I wanna win! If there's any challenge I wanna win, it's this one. I will give you guys three minutes to build your pasta bridge. Three minutes? Here you go. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do either. Just build a bridge. Stay, please. I might have made my bridge too heavy. Mine's not gonna even be able to stand up. This is the worst. Like, I need more time. Oh no. Tell you're taping like a fiend. I have tape all over my legs. You guys have 30 seconds. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. All right, everyone hands up. Hands up. Oh, God. Let's see whose bridge holds up the best. Well, why'd you start with mine? He's using one finger. I, I did not need to use a lot of strength for that. Savannah's is definitely stronger. It is stronger than yours, Ben. Whoa. Whoa. Wait, this one's, this one's really sturdy. Whoa. Oh, my God. Whoa. Yes. My finger hurts from this. I'd have put a decent amount of force into that. All right, David, you win! Woo! That means you automatically advance to the finals when it comes to judging. Every time someone goes straight to the finals, they always lose, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. Oh my god, I won all three mini challenges. So I'm an athlete and a construction worker and an architect. We have 10 minutes left, and I feel pretty behind. 10 seconds left, and I have another four minutes. You sound so stressed. I don't think I'm gonna use that extra time. Michelle, you can't give up. Michelle, I love your mushroom. I have eight minutes extra time, so I should be able to finish. Yes. Pressure is on. How do I clean that? What would you do? Yeah, you should cut it out. Oh my god, that's so smart. Every time I say I'm confident in a challenge, I always lose, but I'm really confident right now. Uh -huh. Yeah? You're yeah. done. Aww. You're done, David. David, take a look over here. What do you have? Okay, so this is Bill the Unicorn. I wanted to use all the different colors of pasta, and I tried to use every single type of pasta except for one, I think. Why'd you decide to cut the side of the cardboard out? I thought it'd be a cool composition for the unicorn head, and also I couldn't get the hot glue off the paper. Uh, I like your use of colors. I think it's very fun. I actually think this, this worked for cleaning up the piece. Yeah, nice job. Okay, thank you. Michelle. <coughs> I made Martin the mean mushroom. Cute. Um, what was the hardest part about this challenge? Uh, so I started off really liking it, and then as I got to the body, <laughs> I just didn't know what pastas to use. Everything was bad. <laughs> I'm glad you at least completed it. I feel like you could have put a little bit more thought into like what to use for like the eyes and the eyebrows. Yeah, so I was having trouble with the eyes because there was nothing like round and flat, so I just made it mean. <clears throat> I'm still glad you finished it, Michelle. Yeah. This is Roderick the dinosaur. I think this piece looks really cool. I like what you did with the ribs. You made a very smart decision because I feel like a lot of the pasta does look like bones. Especially like the arms and stuff look like female yeah. bones. My one thing, I wish the bottom of the jaw was a little bit longer, and I wish the tail was a little bit longer. I ran out of room. So excellent piece, Ben. Very impressed. 
Savannah, let's see it. I made a frog. <coughs> it was easier, I think. I like the nice graphic look. I think you utilized the colors very well. I almost wish the glue you used at the bottom was clear. I kind of thought it was clear, honestly, and when it started drying white, I was like, well, can't go back now. All right, good job. David, you are automatically in the finals. Woo! Good luck, y'all. For the rest of you, I am gonna ask my subscribers which piece they like best. Whoever gets the most votes out of this will move on to compete with David in a final vote in the final. My turn, my turn. Roger, um, please. First things first, I need a picture of everyone's piece. So we got a couple votes already. I asked my subscribers which one they like the most and we're gonna see who can get five votes first. So first vote goes to Benjamin. Uh. Second vote. Benjamin! Third vote. Roger. Frog, frog. Savannah! Oh, yay! Next vote goes to... Michelle! Oh, Next vote goes to... Savannah! Yes. Are you guys worried at all? I'm Whoa. worried. Yeah. 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 Right. Ready to win! Next vote goes to... Ben! Why are you guys doing me like that? Vote. Next vote goes to... Savannah! Oh. That's close. Next vote goes to... Savannah again! Oh, All right, man. Savannah, you just need one vote to move on. Ben, you need two. Michelle, you need four. Oh, Game over. Next vote goes to, drum roll please. Ben! Oh no! Ben, you just need one vote to move on to the finals. And Savannah, you also only need one. Michelle, you need four. Come back. So <laughs> this next vote goes to, Savannah! Oh. Savannah, David, you two are gonna go head to head in the final voting. Here's how this final voting is gonna work. I'm gonna go on our YouTube community tab on ZHC Crafts, and I'm gonna give my subscribers five minutes to vote. Whoever has the most votes in five minutes wins the entire thing. Let me. Fun girl. We're gonna wait five minutes, and we're gonna see who has the most votes. If you guys wanna judge for future videos, you guys just gotta go on the community tab and vote for your favorite one. I'm surprised to be here. I'm like ready for second place. Well, I'm glad you beat Ben. He's been winning too many videos apparently. <laughs> Don't forget what's on the line. The winner will get a split up to five grand with a random subscriber. Nice. The results are in. Our subscribers on YouTube have spoken. The winner with 84% of the votes. David! <laughs> David, do you have a little message for everyone that voted for you? You're all amazing and I love you so much. This video, we will be making art out of a ton of cheese. Every time somebody watches this video, I will give you a tenth of a penny. There's so much on the line! You guys will have six hours to make art out of cheese. Whoever has the best art wins all the money for every person that watches this video. Sounds good. That was a good one, Michelle. I like that. Your six hours begins now. There is a lot on the line today. They have the potential to win a grand, 10 grand, 100 grand. I think everyone's going to be very competitive. This is going to be insane. I'm really afraid of doing this cheese art because once I do something, I have to continue on with it. Well, I need you guys to watch this video as much as you can because uh, I need that money. I'm trying to think of a cheese joke. That is nacho cheese. That is nacho money. Oh, I thought of it. The winner gets a lot of cheddar. And this cheese is nasty and smelly and I don't like it. Pretty sure I'm the person who came up with the idea to do cheese art. Are you nervous at all? Yeah, I'm really nervous. And I also feel like I have the entire state of Wisconsin, aka my homeland, aka cheese headland, resting on my shoulders. Now if Mackenzie loses, everyone's gonna call her a fraud. Michelle, do you know what you're gonna make it? No, no, I wanna do an animal. No. For all of you viewers watching that want to do this, while some of the artists were struggling, some got straight to work. Right now, I'm just trying to take away as much excess of this cheese. This is the best way to do it without it being as crumbly. If this video gets as much as the most viewed video on YouTube, Baby Shark, you guys will get $12 million for winning. 12 million? Wake up, watch the cheese video. Go to bed, watch the cheese video. Please watch the video. Please That's watch the video. Please. With tens of thousands of dollars on the line, you guys might be wondering where Ben is. Well, if he eats cheese, he dies. <laughs> Instead of competing, I will let you bet on one person. So if you bet correctly, I will give you one one hundredth of a penny for every person that clicks on this video. Free money, I'll take it. Jake, what are you making? Oh. If Jake could make that, he would win. Michelle? No. Nope. Okay, David? Ben, what about Alan? Oh. Come an idea, Helen. Come an idea. All 
don't know, turkey, bun bun. I told Michelle to make a block of cheese. David? I'm making an owl. Mackenzie already got started. She has more done than anyone. And it looks like Ben has made his decision. I'm gonna re regret this. I choose Jake. Okay, just a reminder for what's on the line, Jake, if you win, you get a tenth of a penny for every person that clicks on this video. And Ben, you get one one hundredth of a penny for every person that clicks on this video. If you lose today, you're not getting a ride home. Whoa! <laughs> There's gonna be no curse on the person I bet on. I like a specific someone. I would have bet on Ken. Mackenzie, did you hear that? David just bet on you. No! Oh. David, why would you say that? I'm going to attempt to make Predator out of cheese. So I have no choice but to make good because I'm winning this challenge. There's no pressure, Jake. Don't worry about it. I think I'm gonna make a really magical owl out of the cheese. I have a reference photo right here. This cheese is a giant cluster of curds and it's just crumbling. My cheese is not good. Heat up the wine. Ooh, mine is so good. Woo, woo, it's your cheese yeah, so much better. It, you cut it so smoothly. I think it's just skill. Go back to disappointing your motherland. David's cheese is clearly superior cheese. Stop making excuses for how bad you are at this. I know there's a lot on the line, but at the end of the day, we're still friends, right? No. No. Let the challenge begin. It already did, and you've done nothing. Look at Michelle. She is looking for references and inspiration. I don't think she has a clue what she's doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Ah! My cheese sucks. Does anyone want my nice cheese for some of your winnings? <laughs> Just give me a moment. I need to test some things out. Bruh. It's because you went upwards. <laughs> switched from the big block to this little block and it is so, 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 so much better. And I have a feeling that everyone's gonna kind of end up doing the same. Look at this. Okay, I use my cheat skill. This video is going horribly wrong. I had such a good plan too. Looks like everyone's using a smaller block of cheese. There's no point in doing a big cheese if everyone's doing a small one. Is nobody going with a big block of cheese? No, it's too hard. Wait, hardies. David, I thought your big block was really good. Uh, it was good and then it wasn't. Everyone, we have our first mini challenge. Grab a sheet of paper. Here you go. You guys each get a pen. You will have 30 seconds to write down as many cheese names as possible. The winner gets to give two other people punishments. You will have 30 seconds starting now. As many cheese names as you can. It's getting really intense in here. Nobody's talking. I wonder who knows the most cheese. I'll just I say off the top of my head what I know in case you guys want to write it down. Cheddar, Swiss, Parmesan, Gouda, blue cheese. Is that 30 seconds? Oh, 30 seconds is up. Everyone stop, what you doing? Let me see. Mackenzie has eight cheeses. Six, seven, eight, nine. Michelle, you have one, two, three, eight, nine. Oh God, Jake, you only have seven. Let's go! Yeah! Since Michelle and David both named nine cheeses, we did a tiebreaker to see who won. David. Feta. Brie. Monster. American. Bobby Jack. Cheddar. Limburger. Swiss. Propolo. Mozzarella. Gorgonzola. Monster. I already said that. No! Oh! You get to choose two people, and they need to stand in nacho cheese for 15 minutes. <laughs> Jake? What? No! Mackenzie's oh. so far ahead! Run! Oh, I have to do you, I'm sorry. All right, Jake! <laughs> Mackenzie, Wait, you chose me? For the next 15 minutes, you guys have to stand in nacho cheese. Which also reminds me, the losers of this challenge will turn into human tortilla chips, and you guys will dunk your heads in nacho cheese. Oh, oh no. God. Go ahead and stand in your cheese. David just made two enemies, I believe. Better watch out. And this punishment is especially devastating for Jake because we're already an hour in, and he literally only has three blocks of untouched cheese. Ben, you have a lot on the line. Your partner, Jake, is grinding. Clearly. <laughs> <laughs> My feet are gonna be yellow after this. Oh no! Oh god, it's so seeping. At 4.48, you guys are done. There are definitely some people that like cheese this much, and I'm not one of them. Me either. I wasn't gonna send Michelle into the cheese. She's a queen. How much would you give me to suck the cheese off your toes? That's disgusting. Would I give you? I'm yeah. not paying you to do that. <laughs> Subscribe if you want to suck the cheese off the toes. Jake should have had double cheese. I feel really bad that I had to do that to Kenzie because I love Kenzie. The cheese is seeping through my skin. It's seeping through your skin? By the end of this, Jake and Mackenzie are gonna be 2% cheese. Oh no, I'm leaking cheese. I still have no idea what to make. I tried doing an Eiffel Tower, but I really don't like what it looks like. I'm getting so frustrated. Okay, we're finally done. Oh my oh, god. We're done. Sorry. Oh, yeah, just okay. Uh, okay. Oh! 
Don't film me, I'm picking out my toe cheese. After Jake and Mackenzie stood in cheese, everyone went back to work and it looks like David took advantage and made a lot of progress. I'm gonna try to make the owl body and the owl face. If I have time at the end, I'll add details and like wings and all that fun stuff. Which means Jake and Mackenzie are falling pretty far behind. Because I've really scaled back on the size of my piece, I really am trying to make sure that I add as much detail as possible. And surprisingly, Michelle is also very far behind, even though she didn't get punished. Zach is really into architecture, so I'm afraid that he'll look at my piece and be like, ew. I don't have much done right now. Hopefully I can work pretty fast. Working with cheese is a lot more difficult than we thought, so I let them grind for two hours straight. But now that we're halfway through the competition, it's time to introduce the next challenge. We are officially a little bit more than halfway through. I know you guys are eager for another challenge, so we are about to play cheese darts. So this cheese square is your dart, and the X is your target. Whoever gets closest gets to punish two other players. A lot is on the line here. Are you ready? Yeah. Ah. You get another try. Ah. Three's the max. The Oh, okay, Mich that's Michelle's cheese. That was terrible. Should I go underhand? No, that hit the thing. I do think Michelle's is closer right now. Okay. <laughs> that counts. Does it really? Yeah, the, the first time it hit the whiteboard. No, oh, it got right here. All right, Michelle, it looks like yours was the closest. Michelle, you won. Here is your advantage. You get to choose two people at different times and they have to help you for 20 minutes. Okay. Everybody's cheese art looks so good. It doesn't even matter who I choose. I'll get some great help either way. I choose Jay. What? No, Michelle, don't do this to me. This is so good and I want it on my piece. What do you mean? I want your hat. Go to town, Jake. You got this, Jake. You want to do the back side and I do this side? So like, I work like this, and then you work like that. Okay. Jake is now helping Michelle for the next 20 minutes. The only problem is Jake doesn't have much done for his piece. I think I'm getting the hang of how the cheese works. However, also everyone else's stuff looks really good too. So it's definitely going to be a close challenge today. It's been 20 minutes, I can finally get back to work. I have a lot to do. I hope there's another challenge so I can get more advantages. So one more person to choose. That was a close call. I was about to take another step forward and there's a wire caught between my legs. This whole place would have came crashing down. Let's take a look at everyone's art. I'm very behind. Ooh, I like it, Jake. If there's any way you can roll it up, kind of like how David's doing and like stick it on, that will create really nice textures. I agree. Michelle, what did Jake help with? He did this side. Are you gonna add any like background stuff like that? David said to do some trees in a pathway, so I might just that do would that be cool. on the board. Holy cheese, David! Look at my log. I think this might be your best piece I've seen from you so far. Are you gonna add any more like textures and details to the horse's face? The thing is, is horses really don't have a lot of like, their texture is very fine, so it's hard to do with cheese. You could even give it like those like straps and stuff. Oh, I mean, yeah, 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 I yeah. mean, that just adds a little bit of yeah, detail. Okay, and... good, good job. After talking to all the contestants, it seems like everyone's in a good spot and they're all feeling good. But little do they know, there's a plot twist coming. For this next challenge, I'm gonna need each of you to take a whiteboard, a marker, and a blindfold. We are gonna test you guys today to see how well you know your cheeses. Let's bring out the cheese taste tests. Oh no! Everyone put your blindfold on. Here's the first one. Oh. Michelle, take one. Have you? No idea. No, no, no. Um. You guys can take your blindfold off and write it down. The winner of this challenge wins probably our biggest advantage yet. Did anyone hear that? The biggest advantage yet. Ah! No! No! That's more like it. Mackenzie, what's your guess? Smoked cheddar. Holy stuff. Smoked Gouda. Provolone. It was Gouda! All right, everyone, blindfold back on. Mackenzie, we'll start with you. Oh my god. <laughs> uh. no, 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 um. All right, write down your guesses. <laughs> Swiss. Brie. Go. Brie. It was Brie cheese. Yeah! Michelle, you're at two oh. points. Mackenzie, you're at one. Blindfold's back on. Oh my god. Yes. What the? Write down your answers. Let's see if anybody can beat Michelle out. What did you get? Mozzarella. 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 Well, it is mozzarella, which means Yay! Michelle, you win. Yay! Do you want to hear your advantage? Yes. You get to snack on anyone's piece. Take one bite. Oh my god. There is nothing I want more in this world than for Michelle to not take a bite out of my cheese. Oh, Mackenzie, that looks really good. Yes. Shut Oh, exactly. Pick his. I'm literally looking at Mackenzie's. No! Michelle, no! He's Jake's. He's not going to finish anyway. I'm not. What are you talking about? I can help no, you. No, I'll, I'll make sure you win. There's a lot of pressure. Eat Davis! Eat Davis! Eat Davis! 
can make a decision in your head, don't tell them and just go to one of them and fight it. I need them to stand back. Please don't eat Michelle, my horse. Michelle, I will help Michelle, you. I will give I you the best you, 20 minutes of your life. Luckily for them, Michelle's very petite. She has a small head, small mouth. You sure about that? <laughs> I'm super happy that Michelle said she's not gonna bite my piece. I can just relax and everybody else is going crazy. <laughs> oh God, no! Michelle, you're a goddess. No! This one right here could be real bad. Yeah. I feel like right here would be the easiest to... No! Michelle, don't do it! I really, really like your log. And I didn't make you walk on cheese. I didn't make you walk on cheese either! But you did pop my balloon. Oh. Oh. Because you destroyed oh. my Walmart! All right, David and Mackenzie, give your final reason why she shouldn't bite okay. yours, and then Michelle, okay, you okay. got a decision to make. Okay. I'll buy you sushi. No, I'll buy you sushi! You're going to take the show. No! No, 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 no Michelle, don't do it! Don't do it, Michelle! <laughs> Zombie horse. Rest in peace, Mackenzie's horse. I'm sorry. I hope it tastes good. She took the bite out of my jeans. That was insane. Mackenzie is desperately trying to build her piece back up, but unfortunately for her, we're about to start our next challenge. All right, everyone, I have four pens. Close your eyes and choose one. The pens just picks your team. Because he's on my team. David and Jake, you two are teammates. Girls versus guys. This lady just sabotaged my art, and I'm supposed to be her teammate? Come with me outside for the challenge. Right, everyone stand across from your partners. Michelle, here is a cheese balloon. Jake, here is a cheese balloon. How this is going to work is you guys will toss back and forth. Each time, you will step further back. First team to drop it gets 20 minutes taken off from the rest of their time, which is more than half of the time remaining. Are you ready? Let's go. Step back here. Toss. Step back. Nice, Michelle. Oh, nice. nice. All right, we're going to start alternating, so we go one at a time. Jake, toss. <laughs> Mackenzie, toss. <laughs> toss. <laughs> Michelle, toss. Oh! All right, step back. Michelle, are you ready? Yeah. Toss. Come on, Michelle. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> David, you need to make this toss. Oh. I think we made a good team. Well, Mackenzie, Michelle, I would interview you guys right now, but you have 15 minutes left. Oh, yeah, okay. Michelle only has 15 minutes left, but luckily for her, she still has her advantage where she gets to grab someone's help for the rest of the time. Thankfully, I still have David for another 10 minutes. So let's finish my piece. Once me and David got paired together, I thought we probably would win the toss. I've gotten the majority of my piece done, so I'm not too worried, but I do want to do some finishing details. I think you recovered from it. It's a little rough, but I think it looks fine. David, it looks like your owl is going to fall over. I know, I put the solutions up there. I'm going to fix them. <laughs> if I were you, maybe get a couple of the wood textures over here too. Okay. It will make for like a very complete piece. Just in case you forgot, the winner of this video will get a tenth of a penny for every single person that watches this video. I'm actually really nervous to see who wins. This is pretty big. Also, I want to see the losers get cheesed. You know what? I believe in Jake. Jake does his best work in the last the 20 minutes of every challenge. Mackenzie, Michelle, three minute warning. Three. Two, one. Your time is up. Yep. I think I have a really good chance of winning. My L looks really good. Jake, I believe in you. I could maybe, maybe win. Three, two, one. Jake, David, time's up. Jake, why don't you tell me about your piece? Well, my piece is Predator. Excuse you, Michelle. Sorry, I had cheese. I referenced Predator from a movie, and I thought I got some of the details pretty good, like the mouth. The mouth is really, really cool. I can see all like the teeth. I can see like the, the throat things. The little pincers are very cool. If you win this challenge, what will you spend your cheddar on? Rent. How responsible, Jake. Michelle. I did the Eiffel Tower. There's like a nacho cheese river and some trees and some bushes. I feel like the river is a really cool touch. Yeah, David gave me the idea. The Eiffel Tower is leaning a little bit. The leaning tower of Eiffel. Very nice, Michelle. David. Hi. Tell me about it. So this is my magical forest owl, and I wanted to do lots of different textures and feathers, and I made him sitting on a log, and I love him. This is really impressive with all the feathers and the log really looks like a log i i am very impressed david thank you and i'd say this is your best thank piece you. from the thank video you. so far all right mackenzie i just want to um preface that my piece fell over about two seconds after we wrapped everything dude i'm pretty sure connor cheats 
What? Oh my god! What happened? You're talking and then she goes, oh my god! And then it falls. I made a horse on a little pedestal. It could also be a knight piece. Oh, I see. Very nice. Thank you. I feel like I can tell the snout is a little bit softer, but I think you recovered from it. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It's one of your better pieces. David, since yours is my favorite piece, you're going to the finals. Oh my. And to determine which other piece goes to the finals, I'm going to let my subscribers decide. First person to five votes moves on. So the first person voted for Mackenzie. No. Mackenzie again. No. Mackenzie. No. I feel like we have a unanimous winner here. Mackenzie. Thank you guys. I'm nervous. I need this to reclaim my Wisconsin heritage that David is trying to steal from me. You could go either way. At the moment, it is 50-50. Oh, frick. I feel like the final boss, and I think I might have a chance at winning against Kenzie. Jake, Michelle, gather in. I have the results. Do you guys remember what's on the line? My Wisconsin heritage. Yes. For every single person that clicks on this video, I will give whichever one of you wins one-tenth of a penny, which adds up when people click a lot. The winner is, can you guys give me like a super dramatic drum roll? Editors, put some like super dramatic music. We need it. My okay. thing's gonna fall over. Oh, oh, it's, it's getting ruined. Oh, oh, all right, and the winner is... David! <laughs> With 63% of the votes. My broken hat! David, do you have anything to say to the people that are watching right now? Go watch the video like 50 more times. You know what's next? Oh my gosh, no, Nacho oh, cheese! No. <laughs> I need a towel, I can't see! Sorry! You. This is so gross!